Hi guys, Dan here. Welcome back to the tool room. Uh, a bit of an odd video today. We're going to do um, a bit of uh, cheap versus uh, expensive again. And we're just going to answer the question here. Is there any point in buying expensive tools? And flipping that on his head, is there any point in buying cheap tools? Can you go out and buy cheap tools and, you know, just basically, you know, have them pretty much do the same thing? Well, I'd say that kind of depends on the tool. Um, what you're actually doing, what you're actually buying them for. I mean, if you're in the trade, um, obviously you probably want a slightly higher quality of tool. Um, but yeah, you know, let's have a little look, shall we, and just see what some of the differences are. Now, over this end here, we have uh, some combination pliers. Now, three different makes here. We've got some Kleins, we've got some Kniebex, and we've got some Blue Spot. Now, difference in prices here, I mean, the Kleins are the top of the line once you these retail, these VDE versions retail in the UK probably at about £55, something like that. So they, they're not cheap at all. Then you've got the Kniebex versions, they're probably worth about £30 they tend to retail at. And then you've got these ones. Now these ones are Blue Spot. Now not to be confused with Blue Point, they have no affiliation with Snap-on. These are Blue Spot. Now these actually cost £3.99 in uh, British pounds. So um, massive price point difference here. So a real, real sort of difference in the range here. Now, amazingly, if you play these blue spot ones, you actually get a lifetime guarantee with them, which is more than can, can be said for the seven times as much Kniebex versions. Okay. And to a degree, you do kind of get a lifetime warranty with the Kleins. However, you've got to kind of send them back to Klein and um, get that warranty for them. And they've got to be sort of like for uh, an obvious fault um, where they've actually failed and broken. Um, if you've just abused them or whatever and just broke them, then you know they they're not going to be so they're not going to be so eager to give them to you then. But I mean, CEF are pretty good, and um, they're our retailers a client. If you if you go in, you've broken a client thing. They'll tend to just replace you, no questions asked. So let's start with the cheap one then. Okay. So the differences here are as follows. So the way it's machined, you know, it's it's pretty basic. You can see there's a bit of wear and tear on the inside of that. Now you may think well that doesn't really matter but i've never actually used these i've not used them at all you can see there's a bit of a a bit of wear on the cutting edge there already you know it's a bit discolored um if you feel the actual blades they feel a bit rough um it's got a sort of uh it's difficult folks it's got a sort of a typical lined sort of um grip on the end there with a sort of lined line design um but you can see, you know, the paint's pretty poor on it. It's sort of a, a rough sort of feeling. Um, doesn't feel very nice. There's lots of chips coming off it. Bear in mind, these have never been used. But on the upside, they do feel nice and loose, which is good. You know, they're not stiff and horrible to use. You know, they, and they're combination players. You know, they, you could use them, you know, if you're using these around the house, they'll kind of do the job. The handles feel kind of hard. Um... This is a sort of soft grip handle, but they, they don't feel, I mean, they're comfy enough to hold, to be fair, um, but they do they do feel kind of, you know, cheap, which they are. So, you know, but what do you expect for £4? Um, they've got the little protective grips here, which is unusual. You normally only get these on a VDE version um, to stop you uh, sliding into electrics, but I suppose it stops you cutting your hand. Um, they'll open that, that wide, so it's not too bad. And again, you can see, you know, the way it's machined, it's, it's not great. Now, if you compare that to the Kniebex versions, which actually get a little bit stiffer the wider you open them. Um, so if you open them completely wide, they'll they'll stay open for you, which the other ones won't do. So whether that's a good thing or whether that's a bad thing, I don't know. But look at the way these are machined. Um, now, these have been used, these ones, so they've got the same sort of uh, design on there, but, you know, you can see they're, they're coloured a lot better. They don't feel rough inside. They feel quite nice and smooth. They're painted well. You can see the finish on it is polished well. It's nice. The handles feel sort of like a nice soft grip, and these have been used. You can see the date there. These are 2016, um, and they're still in really good condition. Um, 
can see the the pivot on them there is is nicely machined compared to you know compared to this one you can see you can you can see the diff well i don't know whether you can on the camera but you can see you can see the difference in the machining um and they meet perfectly at the end you've got the thousand volt rating on these as well now going right to the top end of the scale you've got the clines now a completely different design You've got a crimpers in the end there as well on these ones. They're sort of more like the design of, um, I've just rubbed these down with some wire wool because um, you can see them sticking to it. Now these have got a sort of more sort of uh, crisscross design. That's just bits of wire wool hanging off of there because I, I I gripped something with it. It was like filler and I got it stuck in there and I find it difficult to get out. But these are a very strong grip on the end there. That's machined really nicely. And you can see again, the quality of the machining is very nice on it. Um, one thing I was slightly uh, disappointed with is the black on here. These aren't particularly old. I haven't had them long at all. Um, the black on these is starting to come off and show the silver underneath on that design. And if you notice the bottom here of the of the actual crimper, you can see it doesn't it doesn't actually line up quite properly. Which for an expensive set of cutters like this, you know, it, it's quite surprising really. And you know, you wouldn't really get that with a Kniepex version. Um, you know that I don't. It just wouldn't get through the quality control like that from my experience at Kniepex. What it has got though, it's got this uh, dual layer VDE handle on it, so you can see that if um, it's got this white underneath on it. So if it goes through to the to the white at any point here, then uh, then then you know it's time to get some new ones and your and your um, your VDE ratings compromised. So there's some quite cool things with that. You know that that's that's pretty neat. Um, but would I say the clients, I mean, they're obviously bigger, so you can get more leverage on these because they're bigger handles. They're, you know, they have a good 200 mil, um, bigger than these ones as well. Different design as well, sort of like a far longer sort of head, a longer sort of cutting blade on it than these two, which are both have a sort of shorter cutting blade on it. I'd say these two are more similar than this one. And then a sort of slimmer profile um pipe grip on it as well compared to these ones so slightly different too really which is why i keep both of these in you know these are for the higher leverage and yeah i keep both of these in my bag which is quite nice so yeah i mean these are definitely you know far better tools but you know i i personally if i had to keep one of them i'd probably keep the kniebex one because i just feel it's it, it i just feel it's just got a little bit of edge on quality really and it's you know it's far better priced um but yeah, I mean, for three ninety nine, if you want these for home use, you know, you can't really go wrong, can you, with a lifetime warranty? Which again, like I said, is better than can Ebex offer. Um, <laughs> you could argue, I suppose, for three quid, I doubt they really care. But here we go. So these are these are the blue spots. So yeah, you know, you can see the quality on them. You can see the difference in them. You really can. It it doesn't pick it up very well on camera, but you know there there is a difference there is a there is a major difference i mean just on on the stamping quality on it as well on these two compared to compared to that you know it's it it it's it's different i mean look at look at the way the um look at the way this area here comes to an end there you know and how this just meets nicely at the end you know and, and this meets nicely you know you see little things like that and you know little things like this you know that is completely different there than it is there it doesn't fit properly compared to these which are just perfect you know so these, these are the little things you see the little differences you see and you know just just the general feel of them you know these are a lot heavier than they need to be really um there you go so moving on again then Let's look at these guys now. These are a cheap pair of tin snips. Um, just sort of like bought from Tool Station. Um, quite springy, quite bouncy. Um, they open quite wide and they seem to be wanting to push against your hand quite a lot. Um, the This thing here is quite floppy, wiggles around quite a lot. And it's got... Um, a sort of long nose on it it's got, it's got a long cutting area um we have a couple of bolts going through it there on the actual on the actual cutting area three different bolts here um very thin plastic handles uh here they feel quite brittle um i wouldn't really trust i wouldn't really trust this loop here to hold too much as you can see bend it back and forth with my hands 
very rough plastic molding on the on the bottom there very low quality as you can see and these are again I, I sort of went for about the same price point they were about four pounds um now i was cutting some garden fence with these earlier and you know the sort of wire sort of garden fence you can get um you know with the green sort of sleeving on it i was cutting some of that over earlier and it was it was an effort it really was quite an effort to be able to cut it um i mean you're supposed to be able to squeeze these and they'll come apart and you can but it's, it's a bit of an effort so it's a bit it's not a great tool i wouldn't say this is particularly um it's not my favorite now going right to the top of the range there now this is a 50 pound set of tin snips um and it's a klein one now with these again perfectly you can just release them there and they open nicely but they feel you know a really nice sort of quality spring in there it almost feels sort of um you know it almost feels a bit hydraulic that does um you've got um if you look at the machine in here you've got some sort of cheap crosshead screws on there and you can see that they're going to round off as soon as you can and on these you've got some nice sort of you know star drive um far shorter blades on this stubbier shorter blades um similar sort of screw there but look at the quality on the back there you see it's a special sort of screw they've used there compared to these just these bolts here um and it, it it's just a nice quality tool um you look in here as well you can see this part here yeah you know far thicker far stronger um far thicker along here and stronger and heftier than this one the handles on this feel really nice they're a lot nicer you know the loops now you can't move it you can't move the loop around um and they're comfortable you know and it's a nice heavy firm tool compared to this this is light as a feather it really is um nice thick grips you know the, there's really no comparison between these and this one you know it'll just whatever you want to cut with it'll, it'll, like that garden fence it'll just cut through with like absolute butter no problem at all far stronger it's almost like um if they were dogs i mean this would be a little poodle and this will be a like big strong staffy jaws you know it'll be a staffordshire terrier jaws or bulldog or something you know it's you can see you can see the difference in them but then again you know this is a four quid set and this is a 50 pound set i think these retail are about 50 51 pounds so you know you can really see the difference in them but you know when i did get these i thought 50 pound pair of, I, I i didn't pay 50 odd pound for these but i thought 50 odd pound pair of tin snips you know but you know when i when i got them i really could feel a real difference and then they're a really really nice bit of kit them so yeah obvious differences in them i mean you can just see the difference can't you you can really just see the quality difference in them um very very cheap but they were very very cheap in fairness you know i'm not knocking these things you know for four quid if you want a little set of tin snips then great um giving these to my wife for the garden she can cut through things with it i guess but um they were a real effort to cut with these ones compared to these so yeah um right so we've got uh some magnuson long nose pliers um and i mean these are the vde rated ones i mean i think they retail are around about 10 pounds um they're not expensive at all by any stretch um you can see the grease leaking out of the uh, joint there <laughs> again you could a lot of these cheaper tools you get like dirt on them and i mean these again haven't been used um stamping's pretty poor on the sides already wearing off just from where it's been sitting in a tool bag and it's got like for some reason it's got this sort of combination player style sort of pipe grip in here and a very very long nose not particularly thin um very stiff to um to open and close um but, I mean, it's all right. I mean, it's VDE rated. You've got some decent cushioning here to stop you slipping into things. You've got a good long nose on them. And, I mean, it's a long nose player. I mean, do you really need, do you really need, you know, a really good quality one of these? I mean, I didn't for ages have a good quality one. I just had a sort of um, own brand version of these. Um, so, you don't really need a massive quality one. Now, if you compare these to the Kinebex ones, and, again, Kinebex tend to... They tend to sit around the thirty pound mark on their Kinebex things. Um, they just feel lovely. These do though. Um, pretty simplistic. No sort of um, no sort of extra bits like uh, needle nose bits on it. 
Um, there's a tiny little sort of, you can't really see it on camera, but I think the daylight shines through it a bit. I don't know if you can just see There's a tiny little notch there, a uh, circular notch cut out. I'm not really sure what that's for. Um, whether it's some kind of like tiny little stripper, I, I don't know, or possibly. I mean, it does seem to be, it does seem to be machined that way. I didn't know whether I'd just taken a chunk out of it or something when I'd cut something, but it does seem, looking at it, trying to look at it off the camera, it does definitely seem to be deliberately machined that way. So I'm not, I'm not really sure what that's for, but you know, it does feel nice quality. It's, you know, it's, they're really nice and loose. Um, nowhere near as big, as you can see, nowhere near as big, but the handles feel a far nicer quality. Um, you know, you can feel the etch nipex signs on there and they just feel, they just feel quite pleasing to hold really. Um, machining, I will say it's not, not too bad on this. Not too bad at all. Um, you know, it, it, you know, obviously there's less of a gap in the Kniepex. See, it's got, see what I mean? It's got that long, at the back, it's, it's longer that hole is. I'm not really sure what it's for. Um, but, you know, they're, they're not bad. Not bad. Um, got the serrated sort of style in there. Same as the Kniepex. Um, Kniepex has been used. This hasn't. Um, but, yeah, you know, so at the back you seem to have a, more of a pronounced sort of edge on it. I don't, I don't really know what it's for, but you know, between these two, I'd say there's not a massive difference. I mean, it's along those players. The handles on these are far nicer. These are, you know, I got these on offer. That's why I got them. If you can get them on offer, great. Otherwise, I wouldn't really bother buying a Kniebeck set of these. I mean, they're just not. They're just not sort of. You know, you don't need a massive quality set of these. They, they just, they just serve a purpose. They're just yanking stuff about, really. Um, so yeah, I mean, the main bugbear I have with these is how stiff they are. That's the only thing I don't like about them. <clears throat> they're a bit big and they're a bit stiff. And I don't like, you see, they're just sort of, you know, the, yeah, <clears throat> I don't know. I don't like it as opposed to just, you know, these are just sort of smooth and nice. But yeah, and they're a lot more comfortable to hold. But if you can get over that, then fine. I wouldn't bother too much with that. Um, let's move up here, shall we? So again, same make, Magnuson. We've got some uh, sort of water pump pliers here. Again, about about the eight eight to ten pounds mark. Um, got some water pump pliers here. You can see that the it's this sort of slide along sort of mechanism here. How a lot of them work. It's not too bad. Um, very heavy. I find these. But they have got quite a soft, comfortable grip on them. I like that about it. But they're not they're not the easiest things to use, certainly one-handed. Um I mean I struggle with that a bit and they open nice and wide, but you know, they're not too bad. Um compared to a more sort of expensive, I'm not saying a heck of a lot more expensive here, but I've got uh, a set of DeWalt ones, you know, and these are more the twenty pound mark. And these have got sort of like a little button there, which are which is far easier to operate, you know, so you get little qualms like that. The jaws are a lot bigger and tougher, a lot thicker on them, you know, compared to these ones. Um, I don't have any Kniebex ones. I'd like to have a set of Kniebex Cobras or something instead of these, but, you know, but what I will say is that the uh, the grips on this aren't as comfy as these. Um, a bit disappointed in DeWalt's grips on these. They're a bit slippy, they're a bit hard, they're not very comfortable, there's no sort of you know thought behind them to make them comfortable in your hand but again still these just just not as easy to operate you know they're not they're not a lot of fun to play with them but yeah <clears throat> so yeah but you know water plug players yeah if you use them all the time you know i wouldn't buy either of these to be honest i'd just fork out the 26 27 pound you can get them for on ebay and just get yourself the kniebex cobras because they've they've come highly recommended but you can see the difference in these. These are far, you know, heavy duty of machined. Uh, this is a far heavy duty of machined tool than this is. You can see the gap down there, you know, it slides on the boat. Whereas this one, sort of, um, it, it works a bit better. It's, 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 it's a lot stronger and sort of heavy duty. But they're not a bad set, these are. But like I said, the, the DeWalt, the handles are just a bit uncomfortable on them compared to those. So 
those went on the handles these went on the machine and the design of the of the actual release mechanism now i'm gonna do a bit of a funny one here what about a set of snip uh, set of side cutters now if you want to pay a lot for a set of side cutters again around the 50 pound mark you can have a set of these clines i'm not going to go into the handles the handles are identical to the ones on the on the combination pliers but these are diagonal cutters heavy duty cutters high sort of high leverage cutters very very sharp good set of cutters they cost up about, about half that you can just have a little sort of 160 mil set of knipex ones i haven't got a cheap set of cutters to show you if i'm honest so i, I just don't own a pair but um never mind um you can have a little set of Kinebex like this um, for about 25, 26 pounds usually. And then these are about 50. Um, you can get a Kinebex sort of equivalent to this, which will probably be a little bit cheaper. Um, in the UK, Klein do cost more than Kinebex. I know it's different in the US. It's kind of the other way around. But these ones you can get sort of like, you can get flat down onto things, which is quite nice. Um, and they've got a really strong sort of... Uh, sort of cross sort of design leverage on them so this will cut through most stuff i mean it'll cut through piano wire it'll it'll you know it'll cut a decently sized uh, screw or bolt in half the, the, it's a strong cut as well this is more for like wires and things like that and cables so what's my point on these i'm um, just so i compare them quickly because you know if, if you find a new job you're only cutting sort of small little cables and small wires and stupid things like that then great go for a set of these otherwise you know if you're going for the bigger, stronger ones, you pay more money for them because you are going to break these if you try and cut through things like that. I mean, thick cables, um, you're looking for something, you know, more like these, you know, these the sort of sheer style ones. These are a little sort of a smaller style, and these are one, 165s. Um, but yeah, these are <laughs> these are wrecked now. I've used these for a little while now. I need a new pair, really. Um, you know, these are, these are more for cutting the sort of thick wires and things like that thick cables um and they they sort of preserve the shape of them a bit better than these so just a little run through on that um so what do you think do you need to buy you know do you need to spend money you know perhaps go for a middle ground um i don't know uh, the last thing i wanted to show you is this little um knife i bought a little pad saw which was uh two pound eighty so i thought well what's it like for two pound eighty well you get i was quite impressed actually you get yeah this is a make called tried and tested it's quite it's quite comfy to hold to be fair um it's certainly uh you know you can wobble the blade out a bit it's certainly you know no frills what you see is what you get um compared to say this one for example which is uh you know a far more expensive one this is about uh i think these were 16 18 quid a stanley one i'm not sure why it's got holes but you can see the serrated part on it is a lot more uh, intricate it's sort of like a double serration rather than a rather than a single serration if you can if you can see that there um so it's far more intricate you get you get holes in it i'm not sure what they're for um yeah the handle feels a bit better quality um i wouldn't say it's any more comfortable to hold really it's longer um you get a fancy fat max case of it um i'm sure i haven't used either of these yet but i'm sure the cutting power is a bit better on these um so yeah, I mean, you you do get what you pay for, but it's not, you know, if that if they both cut through plasterboard, I guess, then great. But uh, there's quite a price difference between them. This is obviously a bit more aesthetically pleasing, looks nicer, and you get a fancy case, but, you know. Um, so this video, really, um, I'm waiting for a couple of new things to come, but the postage uh, these days is, you know, quite it's quite delayed so i don't know when they're actually going to come so i just thought i'd just look over this um and i've ordered a kinebex knife um electrician's knife so i'll do a review on that when it comes um and then perhaps another tool bag review um because i've changed things up a bit to just show you what i'm in my tool bag for and now i've used these tools uh favorite as well so i can actually tell you more about what they're actually like to use um until then, I'm kind of just uh, keeping some videos coming. If you're interested, great. If you're not, perhaps not. These aren't the most exciting videos in the world at the moment. Um, rather than when we can just keep on buying tools and things. Um, but uh, it's not as easy at the moment, is it? Um, so, yeah. Um, 
so this is this is my video then on on these um see what you think what do you reckon is it worth buying expensive tools are all tools worth buying expensive you know is it worth having kinepex and klein badges all over everything or you know is there nothing wrong with a with a bag full of magnus and stuff let me know in the comments below like and subscribe and um, i'll catch you in the next video guys thank you bye